what do you know as far as assistance for small businesses right now? I know there's a $10,000 forgivable loan. <laughs> I feel like that's going to do nothing for a lot of businesses. The same way the $1,200 stimulus check is probably going to do nothing for a lot of people. What do you, do you have any more information on that? So yeah, um, I have a lot of information on that. We could get into it a little, a little bit. So that's probably what you wanted to talk to me about. So there is the economic injury disaster loan or better known as EIDL. And that is from the SBA directly. It's not through a bank. You have to go to the SBA, sba.gov. Uh, there is a $10,000 advance that's supposed to hit your account in three days. I have yet to see anybody's account get hit in three days yep, with, with that advance. advance. Yeah, advance. So they don't know what they're going to give you as a loan, but they'll give you $10,000 just to start, and then they'll figure out later, right? It's supposed to be an emergency just to hold you over to help you pay whatever the fuck. So there's that. I suggest applying for it. It's a, literally a five-minute application. They're like, do you want money? Yes, no. Uh, did you ever kill anybody? No. What's your bank account? Yeah. But like I'm saying, they're not really, I haven't seen anybody disperse that. So that's number one, but that's the easiest one. I suggest everyone applies to, for that one. Uh, there's another one which uh, has New York City uh, covering 40% of your payroll. Oh, wow. uh, if you, I think I've if seen you're, that. Yeah, but it's only for two months. If you're under uh, four employees, I believe. Okay. So that one is... Uh, I think if you go to Pursuit, like pursuing someone, Pursuit.com, uh, you're able to apply there or you're able to apply NYC.gov. Uh, there's another one which is uh, if you've lost 25% of your revenue in the last two months, which is hard to tell because it hasn't been two months yet. Like I'm struggling with that one myself because I can't demonstrate it because it's been half of March and a little bit of April, so I can't really demonstrate uh, you know, 25% uh, loss. Right. It just hasn't been enough time. But if, but that's another one that New York City. I haven't seen anyone get that money yet either. Uh, the New York so far has just been like a survey monkey. Uh, if you're interested in money, and it will get back to you when, when that one goes live. And then there's the PPP, which is the most important one, which is the pay, payroll protection program, which gives you two and a half times your. Uh, average monthly salary for 2019, excluding if you're paying anybody 1099, excluding if you're paying any corporations. Uh, so that's all, literally on your W-2 employees and and the, uh, it caps at 100K annual per employee. So that one right there is the biggest one. That's the one everybody's going after. I believe that's the 350 billion. Uh, that one's a mess. That one's a complete mess. It's, it's being done through banks. And different banks have different requirements and different systems. And this program did, I believe, 30 billion in distributions last year as something else. That entire program. And now they're asking for it to do 350 billion in the span of a month. It's it's not happening. Uh, I know Citibank is not accepting anything right now. I know Wells Fargo shut down. They opened for three days and shut down. Um, Silicon Valley Bank is now live. TD is live. MNT is live. But once again, Bank of America was live. They closed it down. A lot of these banks are favoring existing cl clients with existing credit accounts. So you have to, so so some of them a credit card is okay, but others you have to have a loan from the bank already. And the reason they're doing that is because they want you to get the money, so so that you're more uh, viable as a business and you don't default on their loans. And that program is, it should be the most amount of money you're able to get as a small business, and it's a forgivable loan, so it's a grant. But from what I've seen, uh, nobody. I, like, I, I maybe I know one person that's been able to get it, and that's like a friend of a friend. And that was a SunWest Bank, which is a small Midwest bank. And I'm guessing, guessing just they're not getting a lot of action for this program, so that's why they were able to issue it. But it's, I think it's going to be like the ventilators. Uh, it's not going to be enough, and it's going to be too late by the time it actually hits people's accounts. So let me ask you, um, with regard to small businesses getting money, right? Do you have any idea how long they would have had to have been in business, or like anything specific like that? You, 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 you could if you started the business in 29, uh, 2020, you should be able to be eligible for it. You just have to show your uh, payroll from you know January first to uh, to whatever it was, March fifteenth, and then they'll see what your payroll is. But I'm guessing if you're just starting out, your payroll is going to be non-existent, and right. owners don't count. So if 
you, that's a different that's a different app that you get a fi file as a either a 1099 or a self-employed, and that's another thing. But yeah, th th there's no such. But honestly, there's no guidance. They kind of vaguely threw everything out there, and they're like, "Here, banks, figure it out." And the banks are like, "Well, hold up a second. We need to do compliance to make sure that we don't get stuck holding these loans because they want to sell them to the Fed. These banks, they, they don't want to hold the loans. They do not. These are these are terrible, terrible loans. So they want to what sell them as soon as possible." Terrible? Okay, would you give twenty dollars to a person that you know doesn't have the money? Like, so you're basically imagine, people with bad credit, essentially. Yeah, okay, they're, they're, yeah, they're junk bad, loans. They're junk loans, uh, and then the person that's saying, "I'm going to give you back the money." Give this person twenty dollars. I'll give you back the money. Uh, they're 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 super disorganized. They don't know what's going on, and then at any minute they can say, "Oh, actually, you're not eligible." I'm not going to give you back that money, right? So there's no point. And then now they also have to invest into operations to give out $20 to 200,000 people, right? Wh which they don't have, right? And then and then it's so it just it's not good. The finder's fee for it, it's not enough. They're they're giving 10 billion for 350 billion dollars. So they're paying banks 10 billion dollars to give out 350 billion. But all it takes is yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so I, I definitely want to let you finish. Actually, finish that thought. I'll I'll ask my question after. Yeah. So they're they're paying like the 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 float cost or whatever the operational cost of ten billion for three hundred and fifty billion, but okay. it's not enough. You know, it's it, the risk on those loans is going to be high if they if if they're not compliant and the compliance documents are very vague. It's an eight hundred page. Uh, uh, like uh, Congress congressional bill, right? That's super vague. That those things usually take months and months and months and months for all the legal to get ironed out and for precedents to be set. And none of that is happening. So you know, I always wonder. I always wonder after being in the tech world and the in the production world for almost a decade now. I've worked for financial companies before. I've worked for Prudential before. I know what it's like to deal with our compliance department. And all the fine print and this and that. I always wonder: is there a more, is there a simpler way? Is there a way that you can condense that fine print into like English that's a lot easier and faster for people to process as human beings? The government needs to do it, and the government is not super tech savvy, as you know. You know, government agencies are just not there, and because of, and a lot of it is because of compliance and security and everything like that. You know, so even even if you look right now, when it comes to like medical, right? The FDA has waived its requirements for HIPAA. Uh, I don't know if the FDA, sorry, not FDA, but anyways, HIPAA requirements have been waived so doctors could FaceTime you, right? You can't do, you, were, you weren't able to do that before. So it's the same thing with the government. The, uh, the SBA has a system that allows you to upload the document. That system crashed. Healthcare.gov, how did that work out? That system crashed, right? So just the government is just shitty at tech, and that's what you get when you have a bunch of people in power that are over 70 years old.